Grant's brother and safari business partner, Brent, gets some news that may throw the entire operation for a loop. A crocodile has been causing trouble in town, and it's just been spotted again. Anytime there's problem animals in Mound, there's a bunch of guys who respond, and Grant and I are just part of that group. Grant, 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 Paul, baby. Uh, hey, bro, how's it going? That same crocodile causing the death last week. Seems to have popped up again. Um, so there's a chance we might need your help this side, but we're trying to make another plan. But uh, just stand by for us. You're just going to chop it up. Maun is considered the gateway to the Okavango Delta, and the river that cuts through the town is a prime hunting ground for crocs. It's like wandering around a supermarket. You've got all sorts of things wandering around the river just waiting to be eaten. A few months ago, a child was grabbed while wading in the river. Luckily, he escaped with just a severe bite on his arm. Crocodiles don't really differentiate between humans and animals as prey. We are definitely on the menu, and we always have been. The entire community has been on high alert since the attack. Now, with a second sighting, Lataka may have to do something they've never done before, pull a guide off of safari. It takes two to three people to wrangle an angry croc, and Grant is one of the most experienced handlers around. Jumping on crocodiles is a fairly specific skill. Brent obviously feels that he needs a bit more experience there, and I respect that. It's a concerning development for the brother's dad and business partner, Mike Reed. Are we going to have to get involved? I don't know. I don't know. Grant's not here, so I'm hoping we don't have to. If it's that same crocodile, we might need to bring Grant out. If we have to, we have to. All right. OK. Chat to you later. Cheers. Cheers. Until they get more information on the croc, Grant's got a safari to lead. <laughs> 